Welcome to Boss Cabo Sports, and today we get we getting ready to break down Jonathan Hawkins, uh, the new acquisition by the Dallas Cowboys. The Dallas Cowboys actually did really good on this acquisition, and so obviously I want to get right into the film breakdown on him and talk about what makes this special. Because first of all, one thing that you see is he's very strong at the point of attack, and He's instinctive at shedding blocks. He's not looking to just hold this guy up. He's looking to make a play. And uh, he's not sexy, but every time you turn on the film, you can see why he's been in the league now nine years because he do those things that coaches want to see. Like, obviously, I talked about shedding the blocks, but you also see him pursuing, not quitting. Uh, and they would have scored a touchdown right there if he would have gave up on that play. Like, he's looking to help out. It more than just being a guy that frees up linebackers. Uh, you also see what I call a combination of Tristan Hill and Neville Gattlemore because Tristan Hill at his size is very good at pursuit. You see that same instinct also in Jonathan Hawkins. He is very strong when it comes down to pursuit. He doesn't run around like he's a big man. He runs around like he's a small man. And he plays old school the way that you want to see somebody that stand active and trying to get after it. Even if the player's away from him, he's going to pursue it. You know, and that's in every direction. It doesn't matter if they're winning. It doesn't matter if they're losing. He's been consistently like this as long as he's been with Las Vegas. So he is a very, very good signing, uh, especially when you consider him against our opponents, which is also a clue of likely what the Dallas Cowboys are trying to do. When you look at the fact that, you know, we struggled on third and short versus Philly, and we've been struggling uh, on the run game period, the Cowboys are doing something that they don't do. Uh, they shoring up that middle even more and the main thing that I like even if you look at him here is he's getting good get good push on Kelsey and some people will say why does that matter for you to talk about a play where he got the ball out but yet you still saw good push uh, it's because that type of guy that's just not stalemated it but able to get push takes away the pocket from quarterbacks that step up you know and so it's the little things that you see like that that's that makes him a big deal when you add him to us so the other thing that for those of us who want a better run defense is he's also great on doubles and you want to watch him again versus philly who's considered one of the best run blocking teams and you can see none of the guards or centers are able to climb to the second level because he is unmovable even on doubles. So you get a, a clear indication of why Dallas is being aggressive. And some of y'all will say, no, nah, boss, this is not aggressive. For Dallas, this is aggressive. Dallas don't make no swaps, no trades. I don't care what you call it. Dallas doesn't do moves usually before the trade deadline unless um, it's a crisis like Amari. And once again, you see him giving Kelsey problems, you know, and this is what you want to see. Uh, and it looked like Will McClay has done his thing again, you know, and, it, and just keeping it real. Will McClay and Stephen Jones and Jerry Jones have stepped up to the plate. So this is a very good signing um, by the Dallas Cowboys to step up and say you know what we go be bold we go do what we normally don't do and we're going to go get a guy to kind of sure up our middle and make a move this is I actually did a video saying that this is the time to be aggressive and it looked like the Dallas Cowboys are being aggressive now is this extreme no is this giving away a first or a second no but is this self-awareness where you are seeing where you're having problems as you starting to approach the buy? Yes. As are you seeing where we could be better and could sure up our contention? Yes. That's exactly what the Dallas Cowboys are doing. They're shoring up their contention. So I want to give you some basics of him. Uh, and one more thing I want to talk about shout out to big game James because he's the one that actually brought Jonathan Hawkins to me two years ago two years ago we was doing 
uh, we wasn't even doing a final word yet. We were doing Saturday shows, and he was like, "Man, we need to get Jonathan Hawkins." And so I researched him behind Big Game James and did a, a film breakdown. I was like, "Bro!" So this is somebody that I'm very aware of, uh, and Big Game James is very aware of. This is something somebody we both was high on two years ago as somebody that could have helped the Dallas Cowboys. So I want y'all to be encouraged, be encouraged. I know a lot of us mad because it's been a long time since we've been to a championship, but I'm pleased with what I'm seeing as of late. I'm pleased with what I'm seeing with the Dallas Cowboys and the moves that they're making. This is a move that's getting us closer to a championship. And this is something that's not like Dallas. We usually will go with our guys and don't do anything. But this is a move that means that they're self-aware. And you want to know that about your front office. Are you self-aware self when it's time to be greedy and go all in and say, where do we need to do that? And it looked like they doing it. And I'm and I'm cool with linebacker because I, even though I know we need linebacker, I'm also aware that we still have youngsters in the wing, like Harper, like Clark. We still have people in the wings that can step up. So I'm not in the in a panic as much at linebacker, even though I know we need to get some reps out them young guys but i have a feeling that's gonna play out but this is the move that we needed to do before the trade line and shout out to front office for getting it done so y'all continue to come back i'm gonna drop more videos i did a stream on this i had a problem with it so now this is a pre-recorded video but either way it's gonna be the same information the same film y'all continue to follow boss cowboy sports where you getting the type of content uh, make sure you, before you go to hit that like and subscribe and we go be getting ready for the final word tonight You know, that's gonna be off the chain. So y'all stay up. It's boss capital sports where your voice matter. Peace